Thank you everyone for joining us today. Today we'll be demonstrate the installation of a standard refrigerant dryer using the lock ring joining system. As you can see, Charlie's cleaning the capillary tube already and going ahead and transitioning to cleaning the heat loop. Next, he'll be cleaning the dryer itself. Preparation for lock ring connections is just like that of brazing. We just need to ensure that both sides of the tubes are clean and free from oxidation or contamination prior to assembly. Next, Charlie's going to install the capillary tube connection. And in this case, he wants to push the capillary tube till it just protrudes from the end of the connector and make a slight bend. This becomes our capillary tube stop that will allow us to maintain the position of the capillary inside the connector. Charlie's going to go ahead and apply some lock prep. He pulls the capillary tube out slightly, applies one drop of lock prep, pushes the tube back in and rotates the connector. He'll do the same thing on the other side of the dryer. Nice healthy drop of lock prep, rotate to help distribute via capillary action. Once the lock prep has been applied, you have 20 seconds to complete the connection. And Charlie grabs the HMRKV assembly tool, fixed handle against his left arm. He's using his left hand to keep everything together and ensure the tubes remain in place during the compression stage of this assembly. And the connection is complete. Now it's time to perform the connection onto the heat loop side. So we perform our assembly on the capillary tube side first because of the ease of maneuverability after you've completed the connection. The capillary tube is easily moved around without any risk of twisting the tube inside of the connector. Here Charlie has grabbed the, the next connector for the heat loop to dryer connection. Again, we'll apply lock prep, nice healthy drop of lock prep. Push the two nectar back into its internal stop and rotate and perform the same thing here. Bring the connector down slightly, apply your lock prep, push the connector back to the stop and rotate, and you're ready for assembly. Again, you'll want the fixed handle of the tool opposite of the fixed object in the cabinet. In this case, it is the heat loop. So Charlie flips the tool over, takes his fixed hand, grabs the dryer to ensure that everything maintains against the center stop during the compression phase, and he goes ahead and closes the connector. Once both rings have contacted the center stop, assembly is complete. 